Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my first product review slash anti-colic bottle comparison between the Dr. Browns and the Mam. So I'm going to start off by telling you that I actually started with the Tommy Tippy bottles. I think everyone does. I got the newborn um, Closer to Nature set. Um, came with everything you can think of, the sterilizer, the little bottles, the big bottles. Now, we did hear a lot of negative reviews on Tommy Tippy, probably because, you know, it's meant to be a leading brand. Um, so we decided to give it a go anyway. And yeah, in the end, we thought we weren't 100% happy with the bottles because Jack's had a lot of wind. So we thought maybe we would try an actual anti-colic bottle didn't think he had colic because he wasn't screaming and crying uncontrollably which apparently they do for hours and hours and nothing can soothe them whereas Jax was just straining and straining sometimes cried out to the point you know we had to give him a cuddle but then he was fine um I just think it was gas so you know it was either normal bottles or anti-colic bottles so anti-colic you know it it helps wind anyway so we just went straight for it. Um, we decided to go on to Dr. Brown's because it's clinically proven to reduce wind, spit up and gas. So this was ideal for us because two of those things, Jax would spit up occasionally, um, a lot more when he was newborn and gas was definitely a problem. So we, we were happy to go for Dr. Brown's. We started with the little ones we've just recently changed to the nine ounce bottles so the reason we didn't like the tommy tippy bottles was the teat was just too big it was so wide that his little mouth just couldn't even close he, he was still drinking from it don't get me wrong he would still get through that bottle but it was like a piercing sound between you know the edges of his lips just here you could just hear that it was just not tight enough around the teat um which then led me to believe that's where all the air was getting in so the dr browns is a similar shape it's still like the round i don't know if you can see that it's still like a round teat similar to the tommy tippy it's a lot longer um and it's not got such a big sort of tip on it as you'd say so the tommy tippy ones i don't actually have one to show you because i get i got rid of the big ones and i recycled the little ones that we'd actually used um but i might put a picture up um now to show you the difference um, but yeah it's a lot bigger than this so this is the level one teat level two and level three look exactly the same they're the same shape and size the only thing that's different is the hole which is the flow um of the milk i think it's the same on all bottles but yeah just to let you know that they don't actually get bigger the the way the anti-colic works with these is this um air vent system inside you can see it's like this green plastic straw um, if I just take that off so you can see in here these actually separate so like this these are the parts so that goes in there like that and then it just goes in so I will say it's a bit of a pain to clean because you have to take them all apart make sure you get in you know all the bits um, it comes with its own cleaning brush so you can get in all those areas um, but it's it is my favourite bottle because simply when you are feeding on, you know, that angle, this tube goes right the way to the end. It's still got a gap in there, as you can see. Still, There's a still a gap between the end and the vent system. Any air that Jax blows back into this bottle, which she does, I always see the bubbles coming up in other bottles. It goes right through this up until the top where there's just no milk at all because the milk only sort of comes up here at the most. Um, so that just comes out and it doesn't make any more bubbles in the milk. So I absolutely love it for that reason because he does like to take a break and, you know, let go of it and all the bubbles shoot back up into the bottle so this completely avoids that situation 
obviously it's still going to be bubbly if you shake the bottle so what I like to do is just swirl it I use the Tommy Tippy prep machine so when it has the hot shot I'll do a review on it when it has the hot shot just give it a swirl don't shake it um you're bound to have bubbles all formula I'm pretty sure is bubbly apart from like your specialty milks my friend said the comfort milk doesn't um keep the bubbles in the milk at all they just pop so that is what the dr brown's bottle looks like um not very pleasing on the eye to be honest um but you know if you've got a colicky baby you know windy baby um you know i wouldn't really care what the bottle looks like as long as your your baby's okay so the man bottle next i ended up buying these because we had two big dr brown's bottles now i was happy with them i really liked them but jack still had his moments where he would seem quite gassy so i thought maybe you know we'll try a different bottle maybe you know that bottle's good but there's one better now, all the reviews for the MAM anti-colic bottle, you know, are just amazing. So I thought, you know, I'll buy a couple. We can compare. If it's better, let's go for these. Um, otherwise, we'll just stick with the Dr. Brands. What drew me to these anyway is because I use the MAM dummies and the teat is exactly the same. It's much different to the Dr. Brown's, much different to the Tommy Tippy bottles. It is flat. So there you can see, it's a completely different shape. He took to these teats really well. Maybe that's because he had a man dummy anyway, which was the similar shape. So I just knew he was going to get along with it. Um, didn't think any better or worse, but he definitely, you know, looked a bit more comfortable on the flat shape. Um, so I did really like that. Um, also, these bottles are self-sterilising. So this all comes apart um, in here. And you basically, it's got a little measurements here. I don't know if you can see that. There's some measurements there. You basically fill it up. I think it's 20 mil. I haven't actually done it yet. Um, and you pour it into the bottom, leave everything on top of each other without screwing it, just literally resting on top of each other. And then you microwave it for like three minutes and it's sterilised. Now, he got through these much quicker than the Dr. Brown's. Um, I don't know if that was because of the teat, but he was both on size two teats um, with both of them. And I noticed he got through this much quicker my biggest issue with the man bottles which i ended up googling trying to see what other mums were saying about it but the amount of bubbles i was getting in this bottle were it was a lot i was still swirling my my bottles not shaking them and because there's there's nothing in there to stop you know there's it literally there's nothing there it goes straight from the bottle into the tea I had bubbles literally all around here. I could just see them and I was just watching him almost drink them. And when he blew back in, they were bubbling up. It was so bubbly. There were so many bubbles. So I just thought, why, how is that anti-colic? I know it's got this valve on the bottom with all these little holes. And sometimes you can hear it like a, almost a really piercing noise of air you know coming out um so you think well it's doing something but the bubbles were, were my problem um so i thought you know i gave it a go but the winner in my eyes is dr brown's even though the man looks pretty dr brown's is the best bottle out of the two because it reduces the bubbles that the baby takes which i assume helps with the colic the gas the burping everything like that so if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these amazon is the place i get everything on amazon there really is no price difference between the two i'll put links um for both the dr brown's and the man bottles but dr brown's is the winner in my eyes um i do like that it, it sterilizes itself that's pretty cool and i do like the teat but the vent system wins. 
thanks for watching my review on the bottles um i hope it has helped you i know lots of reviews help me decide which bottles i want um it's 100 percent honest i've bought both bottles myself i am not getting paid to um big up the dr brown's bottles i do just think it is the best anti-colic bottle there is out there please subscribe to my channel for more honest reviews thanks guys